everybody. Today we're going to be doing a concept sort of painting. We're starting with a 10 by 20 inch canvas and I've got this one plain just to show you what kind of canvas we're working with. This is pretty simple. But what we're going to actually work with is what's underneath it. I've had to create this ahead of time. This is cups, essentially different size cups that I have cut the bottoms off of and I have glued onto the canvas. Now you may be thinking I'm a little strange and a little crazy, and maybe I am. I actually used a special kind of glue that is used for watercolor because I do watercolors. And it's also used for inks if you want to. It is the incredible white mask. It's liquid frisket and it is basically rubber cement that can hopefully be erased off of the canvas after the fact, but I needed something that was going to hold these cups down. So that's what's happened and we've glued them down and they have dried for 24 hours. Actually, this is dried for more than 24 hours so I may have trouble getting it off. So I've just placed them in random places because they are going to be my bubbles in this case. On the background, I'm actually going to be using this, which you recognize probably as a split cup. This has four different compartments, and it's going to be kind of the sky is what we're gonna go for by putting the four colors. The four colors that I'm choosing, and these will be in the description below, is titanium white, a little bit of yellow, blue, this is viridian blue, and I believe I'm going to be using a metallic blue. Okay, so we're going to go for some of the lighter bluer ranges this time around. I need to move my other ones out of the way because they are now in my way. And those are the four colors that we're going to be using in our split cup. So let's go ahead and put those into our split cup. I am going to layer my metallic and my yellow because I don't want as much. So this should be interesting how this comes out. So I'm going to put my yellow and then I'm going to layer a metallic blue. This is a Decor metallic blue that I've mixed up and put in a bottle. And it's a very pretty sky blue actually. We may have to add a little bit of that. We've got a lot of white too. Um, hopefully that's going to show up. So that's our color. So just remember that the metallic blue is on top of the yellow because I didn't want as much yellow. So it's going to be an interesting pour. So I'm going to move this back into frame and we're just going to be doing a little circular motion and doing this as a split cup pour to get a background around my circles. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start tilting so I can get my background color. 
try not to tilt it all off. I've got to get it around all of these cups. This ought to be interesting, and I'm going to go ahead and add my paints inside of my cups. And I thought long and hard about what to do for the inside of these cups. I've decided to use metallics, so very high contrast on this. So I've got metallics. I need to add just a tad bit of silicone to a couple more of mine. Uh, but this is these are going to be metallics. Most of them are deco art and they have silicone and they have Floetrol. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of white to each one of my, or not so tiny bit, of my cups. Essentially my bubbles. I need a little more in here. Okay. I've already started taking the cups off of the canvas that had the paint in them that I used liquid frisket to seal down. Just using a palette knife to gently start it. Once it gets started, it's fairly easy to get off. You can see where the frisket was. Here is how the frisket comes off. Just fun. Okay, so now our bubbles are free and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let them dry and then I'm going to come back and finish my painting. Okay, actually what I'm doing now is applying over my bubble areas dragonfly glaze. This is violet blue green shift and it is just going to give some iridescence to my bubbles and I'm just gonna do this first before I work on my outlines and before I work on giving some dimension to my bubbles. The other cool item that I'm going to be using is Color Shift Paint from Folk Art. This particular color is Aqua Flash and it's a turquoise brilliant, very shiny, and I'm going to be using this to outline my bubbles. I've mixed it with a little bit of Floetrol and water and I've put it in a syringe, which makes it easier for me to 
actually to hold on to it and use it. So I'm gonna start making sure that you can see this. I'm going to start and I'm going to go around my bubble. It's very similar in color to the outside of the bubble. Okay, so and now we're ready for the next step. I am going to be doing a little bit of embellishment and highlighting, essentially. And I am going to try a few things. One is to trace around with a white acrylic paint marker. So we get back that whole look of having this from bubble. These smaller ones, I'm just gonna do all at one time. 